In this Help Me Hank scam alert, we have a warning about a job scam that preys on people looking for new jobs. In this case, scammers are finding a way to steal money from babysitters and nannies. But what's happening to them could happen to workers in any profession. It was 1,900. Delaney Turner is a sophomore in college. Like many students, she wants to make extra money. She spent the summer working as a nanny, but wanted more hours. I signed up through Care.com, and that's how I found the first family I nannied. Care.com is an online service that connects families with caregivers. Since it worked so well the first time, she decided to stick with the website to look for another family. This one family contacted me. Turner got an email from someone claiming to be a military mom who was moving from Norway to the United States. The email described the job in detail and told Delaney she would be receiving money in advance. She told me that she was going to send me a check. She received a cashier's check for $1,950 and it came with instructions. Deposit the check and deduct her first week wages $350. And the email emphasized in the text messages the remaining $1,600 was to be deposited as cash. No big deal, like they're moving from Europe. It turned out to be a very big deal. Turner's bank account was drained after the cashier's check bounced. I was just shocked. Turner is not alone. The Federal Trade Commission told us since January 2015, it received 1,200 similar complaints, most involving caregivers targeted by someone seeking child care or nanny services. The Care.com website says it has added additional security measures, saying in part, it has implemented a number of features, including proactive email communications to caregivers on our site with tips on how to spot and avoid scams resources on how to avoid consumer fraud scams, a monitored messaging system for all communications, and fraud detection tools to create a safer environment. There was a police investigation into this scam, and in the end, Turner's account was made whole. However, the scam artists were never found.